E hoje a gente vai receber o Young Man da Hollywood Series Cup. Young Man, come here. This is my fourth visit. The first visit was 2015. At that time, uh, Rio at Fest uh, took place in downtown Rio. And 2016, also I was here, this location. And then 2019, now I'm here, so like four times. So uh, Rio is a feel like my uh, hometown. It's a beautiful city. And then uh, I'm really excited to see you guys. The first one in uh, Seoul, uh, second one in uh, Rome, and then last one in Istanbul. So I travel like everywhere with this and then uh, shooting a prayer. It's called the Prayer International Series. And uh, eventually uh, tomorrow, I, I will film in, in Rio too. Can you imagine? So that was one of my dream episodes, you know, filming in the Rio, because Rio is a, a beautiful city, right? Also, uh, uh, something special, you know, the relationship uh, with the Leandro. So I invite him, Leandro, uh, 2015 in Seoul, Korea. That was my first year, Korean Web Fest, 2015. And then that's why uh, Leandro was there. Then he invited me back. So that's we became like friends. And I met him for the first time in Los Angeles, 2014, I think, yes, 2014. Uh, he's, a, he's a web series and also my web series. Also, we um, like compete at the Los Angeles Web Fest. And then uh, we met, we became uh, friends. Also, at that time in uh, Los Angeles Web Fest, there's a Bilbao Web Fest. Founders, uh, Rose and Oliver, they are there. And also uh, uh, Meredith, she used to be a director of Webfest Berlin in Germany. So all those people met 2014 there. At that time, we were just like creators. We are just a filmmaker, right? And then we learned so many uh, about web series. Then uh, Michael Ajakre, that's the uh, founder of uh, LA Web Fest. And uh, he said, hey, you guys, go back to your country, you know, set up your own Web Fest in your country. So that's why we did. So it's been already, uh, how many years? Like 2015, like eight years, nine years. Well, next year is uh, 10 years already, you know? so. Uh, then last year, uh, also two creators came to Seoul. It was uh, surprising. And also, uh, oh, you were in LA, right? Yeah, I see you, right. See, like we meeting, keep meeting each other, you know. So really good to see you here again, yeah. So today, um, I want to talk about the smartphone filmmaking, uh, specific like vertical. Right? Smartphone is supposed to be vertical, like 75% uh, watching with the vertical instead of a landscape. Also easier, right? Like this way, rather than like a landscape. Then um, used to be uh, just like TikTok or Instagram reel under like one minute. But now you can upload like even 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So now you can make a drama, like a movie, you know, like this, you know, through a vertical and uh, social media. So um, we have a lot of time. So uh, I want to discuss with you, maybe if you have any question in the middle of, you know, also uh, I'm going to keep like speaking English. I wish to speak Portuguese, but I'm sorry. I, I, I could. <laughs> So any question in the middle of you know speaking, then just to raise your hand and then make sure, because a lot of uh, technique stuff, right? 
might be some maybe communication problem, then just raise your hand and then we just like, let's do this thing, not like just the, the lecture. I hate the lecture, you know, just like uh, give and take, okay? This is like official, not, not an official, maybe not the official thing, there should be um, the first time smartphone film anywhere else. We don't know yet. But officially announced in the media, first smartphone movie, actually South Korea, 2010. Uh, the director who watched this old boy Korean movie? Anyone knows? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that director, uh, Chan Wook Park. And then he made um, smartphone with the movie about short film, about like 10 minutes. So that was uh, 2010. And then he made another one last year, 2022. And then the first one was iPhone 4. Right now, like iPhone, like, What's the number right now, iPhone, new one? 15, you know, crazy. Then, even like last year was a, a iPhone 13 Pro. He shot with that. So, so far he made two movies with the smartphone. And then, um, not a vertical though, just landscape. So, I will show you later what's the, uh, the vertical film uh, was like officially first one, okay? I will show you sl slowly. It's going to be very exciting, huh? It's, it's going to be first time uh, hearing, right, of the vertical, the cinema things. Okay, this is uh, actually official first one movie um, shot in vertical. The Hollywood director. Anyone watch La La Land? Yeah, that's the director. You know, so um, his name is Damien. Yes, Damien. And then, uh, so it's called right vertical the cinema, and then uh, vertical cinema in Hollywood is called the stunt double. Oh, there is a missing 2000, two, 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 I think 2020. It's a few years ago. Yeah, there was one. And then there was one was a, a camera, iPhone 11 Pro. When he did these films, mm -hmm. they used the lens uh, out the, the iPhone, the, uh, the other lens that you put. Oh, okay. Do you know I, I understand what, I mean? what, you, what you want to try to ask. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you're you are saying the, the, you are using like the adapter, adapter right? With adapter the, like, lens, like a yes. lens, right? Yes. Um, yes, also, okay, two films, the first one, Korean director, and second one, the Hollywood director, Damian, because they have a budget. They have a lot of money, almost like the same budget, like a regular movie. That's why they do all the same thing, everything same, only one thing, camera is different. Instead of camera, it's iPhone. Even the land, Regular lens, regular lens using, sometimes a lens is bigger than phone, right? Then they're using like ad adaptation, right? Yes, so I'm telling you uh, about what's necessary, you know, I mean, using those things and shooting only, uh, you know, phone. That's the really good question. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later too, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, the smartphone is uh, hard to make a uh, depth, depth of field, you know, depth of field, right? Usually uh, depth of field using uh, the lens. But smartphone is very difficult, but there is a way to new smartphone. So you don't need a big lens. You just only phone. I mean, okay, if you tra travel other countries, uh, if you have a lot of equipment, like extra land, even the gimbal or study cam, even tripod. 
That's a lot of work. It's too much. Uh, all my vertical films, I didn't bring anything. Only phone. Actually, I bring three things. This phone, sound. I'm going to sh show you later, okay? It's talk about like sound later. Then this is like a connection with the sound to a wireless mic. That's it. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, if you travel, right, if you have a tripod, it's big also. Uh, especially if you go to uh, some like famous uh, landmark location, you cannot use a tripod. They're going to come to you, you know, stop the filming. Especially, I shot a lot of like beautiful church. Those places, they are not allowed to bring tripod at all. Even you pay them a lot of money, they say, no, thank you. Remember the Da Vinci Code, the movie? They want to show original location. They pay a lot of money from Hollywood, but they say no. But I'm able to shoot because I'm bringing phone as a tourist. Those things also I, I, I'm going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, a lot of interesting stuff, OK? The vertical actually start from short uh, social media, right? Without that, actually, there is no vertical movies, anything. So you guys, uh, uh, anyone has an account, TikTok account using it? OK, yeah, anybody use it, right? Uh, Instagram Reels, of course, right, using. Also, YouTube Short. Not so much? OK. What's the, uh, the most popular in Brazil, the short content using it, social media? TikTok and Instagram. OK. Actually, Facebook is very used in Brazil, too. Oh, Facebook, We too. have old people using and watching these videos from Facebook, too. Mm, OK, I see. So I think TikTok is more younger, right? And then maybe uh, Facebook, little like everybody, young from old. Then maybe Instagram, no young, maybe in the no, middle. No young people from oh, Facebook. Facebook, like little older, yes. yes. And then maybe Instagram, maybe in the middle, yeah? Maybe, yeah. What? You want to talk? Huh? I like Facebook. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you look old. No, I'm sorry, kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> OK, so. Um, Okay, social media vertical, uh, right now 75% watching, not like this, watching this way. I mean, even like sometimes like when I watch uh, using smartphone, it's kind of like, you, like this way, a little like, you know, it's not comfortable, right? So this is actually much uh, comfortable, you know? So I think that one was uh, last year. So right now I think 80 or 85% watching more vertical. I mean, the percentage even like going up and up, I'm sure. You, you guys are lucky. I yeah. mean, I think this, uh, this lecture is first time specific smartphone vertical filmmaking. Uh, oh, actually, the second time, sorry. First time in South Korea last year. They love it because no one talk about this. They do talk about the smartphone or YouTube stuff, but not vertical with the drama, dramatic, cinematic vertical, you know? Okay, so what is a short? Uh, short film, we can say, right? Also, we can say uh, web series, web drama. Web drama actually using only South Korea. Because 99% uh, web series of drama. They don't make any uh, horror action, you know, they, they just drama. That's why they call web drama. So, and then uh, short form. Are you guys familiar with that short form? The short form and long form. That one, that word actually start from a can market. We didn't start it. Our web fast um, circulation, we never using short form. But I think a few years ago, at the Cannes film market, they started using short form. So sounds like, ah, oh, sounds like cool. OK, let's use it. So now we are using it short form too. And then uh, also short, 
short, actually including so many things, right? So that's, that's a lot of words. It's called short. Which, which one actually you guys like to watch? Vertical or landscape? Okay. Raise your hand, okay? Body. Como vocês preferem assistir vertical, levanta a mão vertical. Uhum. Okay, landscape. Em, em pé, assim, levanta a mão quem prefere assistir com o celular em pé. You, you like landscape? Gente, levanta a mão okay. com vontade, por favor, para a gente ver. Okay, what about... E quem prefere com o celular deitado? Uh -huh. What about the vertical? Não, okay. essa... It's just, uh, uh... Both. Yeah? Yes. No, no, no. Vertical, le... vertical, levanta a mão, vertical. Uh -huh. Celular em pé. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cell phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. E horizontal. Landscape. Why, why uh, you prefer landscape? Uh -huh. Landscape, like a movie. Yeah, traditional movie. Like a hundred years of history. Yes, of course. Right. Sure, more more seen, right? See like a wide landscape thing, right? Okay, anyone like a vertical? Why you like a watch vertical? So normally I watch vertical, but that's just possible. Right, um, that's great, great point, yes. Vertical uh, also the fast, usually a lot of content. Also vertical is more personal. Landscape, like you said, landscape is like a third point of view kind of feel, but vertical is more like a personal, more, more come to you, more like an individual. Yes, so that's the vertical. So if you are uh, filming well with the drama, maybe personal story, which means vertical might be great, yeah, right? But when the war movie, like a Napo okay, Napoleon new movie coming out, right? Impossible, you know, watch through vertical or they, they don't shoot that kind of uh, blockbuster, the vertical, right? Because of world scene, landscape, you know. So those things that actually we're going to also mention, okay? The landscape has a more wide the vision, the vertical a uh, little less, but still pretty good. But human being, uh, like a cinema has a 100 year history. So our eyes very used to uh, landscape, very used to. That's why um, when you watch like uh, the vertical, like first time you're not used to it. But once you're used to it, actually also you wanna like it, yeah? So that's what you are talking about right now, the portrait and landscape, that's the degree. Like 210 degree folding face, then uh, also 150 degree with the, uh, the vertical. Uh, compared to wide screen and the vertical, uh, there was a movie, uh, Avengers. Avengers movie. Yeah, Avengers movie, absolutely. Landscape, right? That kind of movie, blockbuster. Even like IMAX, right? So vertical is impossible to uh, IMAX. So vertical is only Good for a smartphone. And then movie theater, uh, land landscape. But there's a catch. There is a few vertical movie theaters in Hollywood. They just open it. So curtain is like narrow. They, you know, so it's like big. You guys like a signboard on the street, like a big building, right? Huge vertical sign, right? Most of those are signs like vertical these days. Imagine like those kind of uh, vertical screen at the movie theater. So that case, they need upper ceiling, maybe twice as much higher. Because this screen has to be this way. Yeah? Also the chair, not like, not so much this way. The chair mostly like a little narrow and then maybe this way. So that's the movie theater in, in Hollywood. So far, like one uh, big commercial theater open. But I don't think many open like that because uh, usually vertical cinema is supposed to watch it through a smart smartphone. Why 
the vertical and landscape uh, difference between uh, cinematic like uh, language, because everything through a uh, uh, mijang sang. So landscape filmmaking, uh, the mijang sang and vertical mijang sang is completely different. Through my experience, I I shot so far um, fifteen the vertical vertical project for. My first vertical film was uh, two years ago. So I'm still learning. Also, there's not many, uh, you know, the vertical filmmakers. So they are confused. You know, how to uh, do uh, mijang sang with the vertical and landscape? Because uh, cinema language is completely uh, different. Yes. Okay, setting and the props, and also custom and the makeup. Uh, like facial expressions, even the body language, like a lighting, also the, the color of the set, and then the, the positioning, the character, right? That's called the blocking. Everything has to be different when you shoot the vertical. Because it's already a different frame, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's uh, kind of practice a little bit um, the the Mijang Sang, right? I mean, you guys are familiar with uh, cinema, you know? Comparison, right? Like uh, some uh, settle down, some movement, even like same boat, but a lot of different languages through uh, different uh, Mijang Sang, right? Paintings. Very, f oh yes, sure. Uh -huh. um, that's a really good question too. Um, when you shoot vertical, okay, even the close-up, landscape close-up is this way. But vertical close-up, show more. Is much. So I already mentioned, right? Vertical is more personal, more um, showing more like individual character, because more come to you. So that way, the facial, even body language has to be different, right? Especially landscape, like you really focus on like, well, but vertical, uh, when you show more close up, so you gotta even body language or movement has to be a little bit different. It's more actually vertical frame than a landscape. So you can get um, it's a lot of like a frame study. Um, you can get a lot of like a cinematic the sense. You can learn, uh, watch through a lot of good painting. All the painters, they are great with the composition. And uh, so you can it's, it's kind of adopt when you shoot the vertical, those kind of frame. That's why I'm showing uh, very famous the paintings with the body color. So this one, um, that one, the stunt double, that's the movie. Uh, you can see some, uh, that one was a really uh, extremely close up. You can see the more body, right? The top with the two guys, guns, because the body color, right? Showing more body. And then um, that one was talking about the movie theater, the body color movie theater. That's the, uh, the left side. And then also, uh, you can show more of the building. Building is usually the vertical, right? So that's why showing the building. And then um, two shot. You see two characters there about uh, like a kissing. That shot is very tough to shoot because uh, the vertical angle, like one person, is very easy, but two person or third person actors, you gotta think of something blocking different way. That's different a little bit. Uh, even this kind of frame, the, uh, the silhouette with the backside, with the body, those kind of frame is great for the vertical cinema. Okay, um, this is a very uh, good movie from uh, Hong Kong uh, as uh, the director 
a one car way. And uh, anyone watch this movie? Yeah. Um, this kind of movie, if he shoot with the vertical, of course at the time, I mean, there is no vertical movies, anything. This one's like maybe 15 years ago, maybe a long time ago. But when you watch this movie, mostly a very small apartment in Hong Kong, and then also mostly like individual characters, small narrow space. So you see the, a lot of like uh, uh, the wall, see? Right? So, I mean, if you shoot vertical, then you can eliminate those kind of space. So, if you want to shoot this kind of movie, you got to choose vertical. It's going to be perfect. Okay? Yeah, that's why I brought this uh, sample of the movie. Okay, now it's more like a technical. All right, so, I mean, you guys know this, uh, all the filmmaking, you know, course, right, process. So even like a vertical uh, filmmaking is the same, but that's why I brought it here. But we'll see like how prepared different with, with the regular uh, film. Okay, so development and pre-production. So if you wanna shoot vertical films, uh, synopsis, uh, treatment, script, has to be different way thinking. Not regular, you have to th throw away regular script. You have to scratch totally different way approach. Even script. I'm shooting vertical right now, okay? So when you write script, you gotta think like vertical angle. Okay? That's very important. That way you can make a better vertical movies. If you're shooting just a like regular movie, then when you shoot vertical, oh, it doesn't match. How can I deal with this? It doesn't work, right? Very confused. But if you know, or if you prepare, or a script, like already think, the vertical way, then you can achieve much better result. Okay? So everything, like, of course, camera is different. Um, if you have a budget, you can use, use like DSLR, but you gotta tilt. Also, you need some special uh, the adapt, adapter with the tripod, or unless like you're using like this way, right? So all conceptual idea about vertical, and then stay out of traditional filmmaking. Yes, you have to forget about traditional filmmaking when you shoot vertical. Even the, the character, the blocking, you guys know blocking, right? Actors' movement has to be vertical way move. So when you want an actor move, so then you cannot move too much, right? Because we don't have a space, vertical, unless like you have a lot of panning to follow actors. So that way, instead of like move uh, uh, like side, then maybe the other character move maybe a little backside. That way still you can catch two characters, right? I mean, those kind of like simple examples. Then um, also location, like props. You know, when you're shooting a uh, different way, everything is different. Even the lighting's, lighting's different. So when you shoot like vertical, do you think you need more light than landscape or less light, you think, when you're shooting? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, less light. Because uh, you don't have uh, the landscape. You have so much way, like cover lighting, but vertical is, is narrow. OK? So uh, when you're shooting uh, with a smartphone, um, like avoid the nighttime because a uh, smartphone is very weak. The lighting is very sensitive. So when you're shooting nighttime, uh, it's very tough. Or well, you need a good lighting or something. Unless uh, just like a regular shot, maybe you have to think about those things. 
So, smartphone, it's the own beauty. Yes, that's right. If you shoot um, with the smartphone, a lot of beautiful, then you will discover each time like a beauty, something different. You never catch those kind of a beauty uh, from like 100 years traditional films. Maybe we watch too many movies, that's right, right? Everybody is a director, everybody is like, know about the movie, but not many people know about the vertical movies. There's not many. Oh yeah. I have a quick question sure. for you. Um, I, want you. I want to know your opinion about the color grading and the lighting of um, a vertical video, because I've, I've been trying for a while to work in vertical projects, and usually when, when it's for a client that is a bigger production company, uh, and I try to deliver a um, more, let's say, cinematic view and a um, more, more cinematic color grading. Uh, they usually say that it's too dark for, for, for social media and for vertical watching. So I want to know your opinion on that because every, every time I try to do the traditional color grading on vertical videos, they say it's too dark. And when I try to do something more, let's say, um, TikTok or Instagram and it's brighter, they say it, is, it, it fits what they want. So I, I just want to know your opinion on that. So probably you are shooting nighttime or indoor shot, right? I'm, I'm in usually indoor. shooting in, in every scenario. I've shot in studio, I shot uh, external, internal, every scenario. They just say, I'm, I'm just talking about the color grading of it. Mm -hmm. the, the, they say that the cinematic color grading look too dark mm -hmm. instead of the, let's say, social media color grading that okay. is brighter. Okay, usually, uh, Okay, uh, usually traditional films like the big budget films, usually the DP, uh, director of photography, they usually shoot a little darker than brighter. Because if you are uh, uh, brighter, then you cannot uh, save all the you know, stuff on the post-production. That's why, but if you're a little darker, then you, you can do you know, a lot of color correction, right? But we are, we are not talking about that traditional, we are talking about the new iPhone uh, phone stuff. So I think, um, yes, you should avoid the dark. Smartphone, like you, you guys have to shoot a little bit brighter. The brighter, the better. Even like small screen, okay. If you guys show that your product in the big screen, then you cannot like brighter. It's gonna be like burn. But smartphone, sometimes like a brighter, like a burn, more looks stylish. The better than just the dark, you cannot say anything. So, which means, like, I told you, right? Avoid, like, don't shoot without light, indoor, outside, nighttime. But if you don't have a lighting, you have to shoot indoor, then you can use natural light. So shoot actors standing next to window. Then there's a natural light come through window. Also, you watch one of the uh, uh, trailer shot in Istanbul. Inside the church, it's pretty dark. But actors very lit. You know why? Because there's a candle. So I was at the, uh, the church. And then uh, we are kind of filming, right? But still, they, they notice. In the beginning, they don't care. but. I'm kind of like direct actors and then the security guard kind of like they, they try to like keep looking at me, right? So we feel, uh, I feel uncomfortable. So I brought some idea, okay, let's buy some candle. So we bought the candle, which means we pay some money and then uh, using candle and then they're okay. Because we, we already bought some stuff. Also that candle, the health, the lead actor's face. So that's why it looks uh, uh, pretty, also uh, lighter with the uh, candlelight. Even though candlelight is very small, but could be very strong, especially through smartphone, it's completely different without candlelight, with the candlelight. Even like a regular filmmaking, they have some calculation with the candlelight and, you know. I mean, those kind of things are indoor, uh, you gotta use. So if you're shooting a lot of vertical smartphone project, then uh, you can see some idea. You know, whenever you go to, right, uh, other location, whatever, then 
you, you gotta be uh, find some way solution, okay? Or well, sometimes like restaurant, there's a, some, some location have a brighter than darker. So shooting as much as possible brighter location, okay? Got it? Yes. Okay, so now it's a talk about the camera. See, all, all kind like stuff. Okay, that case, even like the big camera, there was uh, the red. Uh, I mean, if you have a lot of budget, I mean, still you can, you know, uh, like rent a uh, regular camera and then just the tilt and then shooting vertical, you know, that way. Or um, some like extra, uh, even like a regular lens, even some kind of uh, the frames, everything. But if you have a budget like this, you can shoot that way. But if you uh, travel a lot of countries shooting, then try to avoid all of this. You know, we don't need that stuff. That case, like, we have a budget. Also, I, I mentioned like earlier, two directors, because they got money from uh, Apple and the Hollywood and the Korean company, right? They have a huge amount of money. That's why they're using uh, big lens, they're using adapter, even they're using like even crane, like even G, uh, G bomb, you know, with the phone. But what's the point? Then shoot just like regular camera. You have money, right? Doesn't necessary. The smartphone, we don't have a budget, but we wanna really wanna make something. That way we can using it, you know, with a very like a uh, uh, smart way. Yeah? That's why I'm talking about this. So anyone, um, anyone knows a film mic, F I L M I C, film mic pro. Anyone using it? No. Who uses the application film mic pro? It's very expensive. Nobody it's, using it. They are expensive in Brazil. Oh yeah, how yeah. much is it? It's a hundred reais just to to download and more hundred uh -huh. for using. Okay, don't use it then. You sure. you don't need. You don't need because uh, uh, even I, I used to use the film filmic, too complicated. I mean, if you use well, looks very cinematic. Like there's some control grain, and then actually when I'm shooting my project, I don't use that one too. You know, even just like okay, the iPhone is the technology keep developing better. Even Samsung every year is like the camera lenses and better and better. So you don't need old accessories and then. Uh, other special application. If you know only phone, also shooting a lot, then you know what's the look, what's the best way, then that's the best way, okay? See, uh, there's so many uh, accessories. You know, if you bring those accessories, then you, can, you cannot like moving around like out of many places for shooting. Also, uh, you don't have much time, probably, uh, with, with your smartphone, uh, when you travel, right? You have to shoot and you have to out, go to another location. So, uh, but if you want to like very uh, um, delicate, very uh, specific scene, only one location, whole day, you can use it. Make a very, have time. So it depends on, you know, what time you have, also how much budget you have, right? But it's, it's a lot. I'm just showing you, see, how uh, smartphone filmmaking is uh, getting very popular. That's why I'm showing you, see, how they uh, develop all kinds of stuff. Okay, so, um, okay, the audio is the big issue, the smartphone. The picture is okay. It's not bad. Anyone can shoot, you know, I mean, but, the sound is a big challenge, you know. When you shooting just like uh, audio, uh, the uh, smartphone audio inside, it's too noisy, right? Everything, even like everybody, talk, even there's people talking. So that's why you have to uh, at least invest some budget to buying in uh, the sound system. So I will, I will show you uh, what, what I'm using it. Okay, this one. Open it. 
Okay, this is the middle. This is like a receiver here, main. So, okay, then connect here. Okay, then already light up. Okay, then you are one actor. Um, but you gotta hide some way, right? Maybe, maybe shooting maybe this way. Maybe I could maybe do here, the hiding, like this, right? Then shoot with this. So, you can do dialogue with two characters, okay? But when you want to dialogue like three or four, five people, you got a different setting. Maybe you have to shoot two characters first, and then uh, change the position, maybe shoot, because uh, only two uh, way of the sound. Or the location is very quiet, then sometimes you can use this one, maybe on uh, the table, maybe behind the cup, or even behind maybe here. Maybe you're shooting maybe scalpers, yes. Maybe like this kind of scene, right? Then uh, both of this one cover both boys. Even three people like cover both. So uh, you can use all like different situations, you know. See, very simple, very simple documentary. You don't have a time to uh, maybe wireless. Then you can uh, use the shotgun mic. That one is very comfortable. Or like a documentary, right? You gotta move fast. You, know, you gotta interview this guy, that guy, that guy. Then those kind of you know shotgun is perfect. Okay. But only phone, no. You can have a good sound system, but possible. Very quiet location. Maybe inside, maybe small room. Nobody there, no sound. Then you can use it uh, without those you know audio system. On your smartphone, you can catch clear sound. That's right. Okay. So, vertical cinema filmmaking shooting skills. Um, vertical has a very uh, limited angle. We have only like this much. So, you need a uh, better little bit movement, you know? You cannot just stay here then. It's, it's very difficult, limited. So that's why you need some like, a lot of like a movement, a little bit, like a panning, zoom. When you zoom, don't use it like automatic zoom, right? Just you approach, you, you wanna zoom, just you approach like this. Then, Zoom out, just move back. That way it looks more professional. You know? If you're using like automatic zoom, looks too much a smartphone look. Okay, so good smartphone uh, movies, like nobody noticed that that was a shot smartphone. Make them confused. Is that sh shot with uh, uh, like professional camera or a smartphone? You know, let them confuse. In that case, like you, you got a good shot. The tilt, tracking, even lag focus. Even lag focus you can do with a smartphone too, you know. Lag focus actually you need a lot of uh, like requirement, right? That's why uh, regular uh, filmmaking and then you have like a focus fuller and too many people. That's why too expensive regular film, you know, too many crew, you know. But smartphone, uh, you can do tracking shot then uh, you can make uh, like create a shot of a lag focus too. That one, uh, I cannot show you right now because uh, we have a limited time. But you guys try. Then uh, th there is a way. Then handed uh, shot. Okay, so there is a... Have you, have you guys using that one, like a gimbal, like the study cam? I mean, you can, I mean, you have money, you buy it, it's okay. I mean, it's good, but... I mean, without that, also you can shoot that shot, you know. Not, not too much like when you like walking shot, not too much like this. 
you know, just like a slow. Also, when you do a, the smartphone movement, the slower as much as possible, slower. If you're moving faster, then there is a shaking. If you have too much shaking, then obvious, looks like a smartphone should, okay? So make like as much as possible, like really slow. That one, you need to practice. You need a lot of shoot, then you will get like really like smooth movement. So, um, the hand following move, moving subject, practice. So when you uh, like follow the actors, um, lot, don't look at the, uh, the smartphone angle, then you're gonna miss it. And you gotta practice and you gotta uh, look at the actors. Then actors move on, then like moving together like this, then you never gonna miss. But if you only focus on like smartphone, then it's really hard to control, you know? That one you need a lot of practice. That way you can achieve good angle. Uh, I already mentioned about the zoom, and then also composition was uh, uh, should usually smartphone has uh, even much um, like much vertical, but sometimes there's too much. So maybe it's the best way. Even the traditional film, right? Everybody say that just recommend you 16 by 9, right? Also vertical is the same. Maybe. Uh, Opposite way, right? Nine by six ten. That way you can do a lot of things. You can crop, you can make extend, even you could unload or tick. Okay, um, post production. Okay, the reason for uh, uh, smartphone filmmaking. Um, okay, my case. I do hundred percent from uh, writing script to filming and post production, and upload YouTube or social media. Uh, everything with the smartphone. That's possible. If you um, maybe download like desktop or notebook, then it uh, takes too much time and you know, that, that, that's, uh, that, that's, why, that's, what, that's why I don't do like speak about that, you know? Because uh, smartphone filmmaking, there's a benefit. You know, you can shoot, you can edit the same phone, after finished product, everything, smartphone, then you can unload directly. Then it's done. That's possible. Okay, in order to do that, um, you need something like editing um, app. I'm using a, a KineMaster. Anyone, anyone knows this one, using that? Um, you can download for free. It's good, right? Free is good. But only one thing is no good. There's a watermark. It's free. It's okay. You know, you can practice with the watermark, right? Just a few projects, you know. Some people notice, ah, oh, uh, this guy is too cheap, you know, free. But once you are used to, uh, you know, make a few projects, like, you know, if you want to look very professional, then you can just buy it. I think each month, maybe $20 each, each month. About in Brazil, that. it's much more expensive. Oh, really? Okay. That case, like, there is no watermark, and then they provide so many things, even so many free music, also uh, free uh, visual effects, also free, um, like, uh, sample stills. Uh, amazing. Like, you can, you can, like, create amazing, you know, with the music, like, some the visual images, you know. This, this program and you can get more the variety things you can get. So uh, try that. Hmm? Download this for free and then try and make a few projects. Some people, they don't like, if you have a big fingers, if you have a big finger, it's very difficult you know, using it. But I'm lucky I have a very small finger. So I'm using this. <laughs> if you have a big finger, also uh, uh, some people, in, I mean, in the beginning, it's, uh, it's not easy, you know, only using a lot of fingers and, you know, like even cut like with the ping finger doing this. But I mean, if you practice and getting used to it, then, you know, you are getting better, you know. Also, uh, 
Uh, if you have some like a shaking, if hands, some people like a shaking, right? Like if you're holding cup, like shaking, and those people very tough, you know, smart one, they're making. You know, you need some like a, a strong and healthy uh, arm. That's why I do uh, exercise, the chin up <laughs> for the smartphone they're making. So a strong arm, that way very st steady for the smartphone, okay? Those, those kind of things I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, uh, so far uh, Samsung, that the KineMaster, uh, the 8K, but they are now allowed to edit 8K, only 4K. So you can shoot with the Samsung, you can shoot with the AK, but you can um, uh, like lower the downgrade of 4K. So you can edit with the 4K. Smartphone with the 4K, you can edit amazing 4K image, not even 2K, 4K. But iPhone, uh, so far 4K, there is no AK. But I shot both with the Samsung and an iPhone, then, um, doesn't much difference, so I prefer shooting 4K is fine. I mean, you can, you can shoot 8K, but you need like the downgrade, it takes a lot of time, the space, and you have to delete and downgrade again. So just the shooting 4K is fine. Also, uh, there's so many things like the, the communication number five, 300 megabyte sending, uh, some like a messenger service, right? Some like the Korean might be cut off or some good one. They are not limited to video sending because sometimes you need a sending like a final product to your actors to approve or something. Then you need the best, right? Using on your smartphone. right? So that case, uh, you can uh, also the, uh, the, the downgrade. There's an option too. You know, that way uh, you can get the, uh, all the communication with the sending, sending back, then you can uh, go back to the original the file, and then you can make original file, and then make a 4K output. Then you can unload the 4K. Uh, YouTube or, the YouTube actually, they show exactly 4K, HD, uh, those things. So, now it's vertical content is getting popular and popular. See, a lot of the billboard is all the vertical these days. You know, later on, probably they need the content, you know. There's not many content for vertical. So you guys have a chance. You, you guys have a good content with the vertical, then um, chance to, you know, deal with them, you know. Even um, the monitor, a lot of people using like, you know, the vertical monitor too. So later on, right, I mean, they, they, they're looking for crazy, like, oh, where's the vertical content? So it might be a good time, you know, right now. But maybe once you start like later, then everybody jump in that, then too late, you know? Not many people using it, that's the good time, you know, you guys try. So, yeah, that's one I, I mentioned, right? That's the vertical cinema. I never been there, but I want to try though. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe showing uh, maybe my project over there, maybe screening something might be great. So far, uh, for a few years, two or three years, I made so many projects, and here like um, eighty. 80% is vertical. And then, these days I'm shooting over this uh, prayer uh, in the international series. So far, um, like 10, 11 cities, mostly uh, WebFest related. That's why, you know, I'm attending WebFest. Then, yeah, I mean, I can do so many things, right? Like award show and meeting people. Still, like, I usually, like, only taking photo, but I was thinking maybe, oh, whenever I visit WebFest, maybe I can do something, you know, make some uh, episode, because we have actors, we have a crew, you know, we have a beautiful location, and why not? Also smartphone, right? 
right? Only smartphone. You don't need a big camera, a lot of crew, you know. So that's that's why I start filming them. Actually, it's getting uh, popular, you know. So also uh, uh, a lot of branding, the brand lady. I try to contact to travel agency and some uh, church and some uh, restaurant, cafe, you know, with the location. So uh, there's possibility like a branding when you do like a tourism. So right now it's uh, the Rio. Uh, there was a Toronto right bottom, Toronto and um, uh, Vancouver. Toronto actually, uh, you know, thanks like Leah invite me. So that's why I was in uh, Tiwa Fest. Then one day uh, shot there, beautiful Toronto like CN Tower, you know, with the smartphone, right? I can able to go everywhere, like just like ask two actors. That's it. So thank you. <laughs> then after uh, Toronto, uh, I was stopped by uh, Vancouver. Then so I suppose not shooting in Vancouver. I want to just relax, but so beautiful. I can't handle it, so I want to shoot there. So that's why I shot in Vancouver too. <laughs> so that's why Rio, I can't skip it. You know, I have to shoot. So I'm shooting tomorrow. The prayer Rio version. Uh, you got already cast. I will show you who got them. So uh, that was uh, um, the article when I was in the Peru, Lima, uh, the series web award, the Lima Web Fest. I was attending there. Uh, there was actually the, at the school, a lot of filmmaker students, so they want to help. So I, you know, like they do some crew and uh, we had a lot of fun, you know. That's the article at the church and uh, uh, that's why I shot a uh, prayer Lima. Then well, the Cusco was supposed to, I just uh, travel, but when I uh, arrived at Cusco, my God, so beautiful. Machu Picchu and uh, so many amazing stuff. So I can skip it too. But I couldn't find the actors, no time. That's why I asked one couple on the street. <laughs> one guy, uh, Chile, Chilean guy and the wife was a Canadian, the international couple. Actually, they met during the travel. I asked them, perfect. I'm going to write the script, similar to you guys' story. Let's shoot. And they said, oh my God, amazing. Let's do that. So that's why I made Prayer Cusco. You guys watch uh, YouTube. It's, it's beautiful, like location and everything. So that's, everything is possible because of smartphone. So this is the shooting for the prayer reel, and then we got uh, to the cast. Okay, the reason for, uh, okay, 2000, when I was in Hollywood, I was a nobody. Um, that time I just make a short film, try to struggle in life. How can I uh, debut as a movie director in, in Hollywood? Just to finish the school. And I don't have money, I don't have a connection, like, I don't have anything, but I really want to make something. Even at that time, 2000, they don't have a smartphone. You can't make a movie without money. You need a camera, 35 film, even 16 film cost a lot of money. But luckily, around the 2000, Canon XL1 digital camera came out. So I thought, that's it. You know? Then I don't need to buy film and you know, develop. So shot the digital with the mini, mini DB, then you know, I'm able to shoot the movie like three days, the feature length. It's less than $1,000, still some money, $1,000. Okay, so $1,000 is the budget exactly. You know, the Hollywood director, Ridley Scott, Ridley Scott, he's a new movie coming out, Napoleon, right? That's the budget, almost like $200 million. But last year, he made movie with a smartphone, even Ridley Scott, like four minutes short film. You know how much budget for the smartphone? With that budget, Ridley Scott, $1,000.
I think maybe they pay maybe a hundred dollars each then maybe for lunch something so even that director have so much different budget right like huge budget and then almost no budget so I'm 2000 I'm trying like I want to do the lowest budget then I applied the uh, Guinness World Record, and I got the uh, certificate Guinness World Record, the lowest budget, and showing a U.S. movie theater. So that time is possible because of digital camera. Now, you guys have possible. You know why? I have a smartphone. Even better. Even even not even thousand dollars maybe. Well, they, uh, zero money. So that's why today. I will give you guys this one. Like the most important thing is like you guys uh, energy, one or two make something, then just make it with the smartphone. You know, whatever you have idea, just to make it. I mean, in Lima, uh, when I shoot prayer Lima, there's a one professor in the film uh, department, and then five uh, filmmaker students. After shooting, like the professor told me that. Oh, young director, young, thank you so much. Now you inspire me. Now I want to make a movie right, with a smartphone. Because he was preparing like 10 years for a movie, but he never make it. Because uh, there's so many things, right? To make a movie is not that easy. Need money, rent a camera, need a crew, a lot of things. But he saw me. I'm very like easy make, like prayer rima, just happy day shooting, the finish uh, editing with a smartphone. I finished like shooting two days, then upload to YouTube. He was shocked. How are you fast? Because possibly because smartphone, everything. So today is a lesson. That's why I really want to talk to you guys because I love you guys. Like 2019, I did brand this is you guys very you know, listen my uh, speaking. So that's why I'm talking you today about this very specific like smartphone filmmaking all right